Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all some affordable eyeshadow palettes, maybe for some beginners out there or maybe for people who just are on a budget and they just want a really decent palette without having to spend their entire savings. So for this video, I'm gonna focus on palettes 20 and under just because I feel like that's a perfect mark for beginners so let's just get into these palettes so the first one that i have is by nyx cosmetics and this is their ultimate shadow palette these are the warm neutrals and this palette is i feel like it's a very spot on palette for beginners because you have basically your warm shades in here your browns your basic transition colors that you want to start off with when you're getting into make when you're first getting into makeup so i feel like this is just perfect and also perfect for that soft glam look and i got this for about 18 dollars at Ulta. These shadows are good. They're blendable. So the next one I have is by Makeup Revolution and this is one of their Reloaded Division palettes. And basically any of Makeup Revolution's palettes that look like this are really good. I only have this one but this one works really well. It's really pigmented. So the ones that look like this are going to be $7. I got this from Ulta. And I love the warm tones in this. I feel like it's also a really good palette if you're just starting out or if you just like those simple shades. I love this random shimmery green color. I love, love, love. And this is also perfect for fall. When I tell you the quality of these palettes for $7 is insane. So next we have some color by CoverGirl. And I got this one from, I want to say Walmart. And this palette is a little bit different because most of the shades in this are shimmers. But you can combine this with your other palettes if you just want to use these as colors to top off your mattes or or if you just want to use the shimmers I mean hey but they're really pretty and this palette was under ten dollars at Walmart for beginners who want to play with color but don't want to spend a whole lot this is something that you could start off with so another palette you can also find at your local Walmart is the Maybelline Soda Pop palette and I actually did a review on this palette. It's here up on my channel. I'll make sure y'all have access to that. But I love these random purple shades here. I feel like it's different for a drugstore palette, but you also have your transition shades and a nice little golden shimmery shade over here. And this palette also smells like grapes. It literally smells like grapes. Oh, it smells so good. I feel like you could do simple looks with this and you can also do sort of step it up with some color, pop of color, especially this really bright purple. I love this. Um, This palette was, I want to say $5 at Walmart. So perfect for beginners. So next I have some ColourPop palettes and ColourPop is the place to go for affordable makeup. I haven't really gotten into their newer palettes but I do have some of their original ones and this first one is their Yes Please palette and it's very warm. When I think about beginners makeup I think of very warm, simple, and affordable. So this one is under 20. This one is $16 actually on the site. And yeah, you have your shimmers in here, your pretty brown shades, and then you have this really pretty yellow and your peachy coral tones. I really love this palette. So I also have the Mar palette from ColourPop. And this one is really fun because it has a pop of blue. And this one is actually $12 on ColourPop's site. Again, a lot of those brown, simple shades, transition shades, and then you have some pops of color, which is always fun to me because I love color. <laughs> this was the original Mar palette. They changed the packaging on it, but I think the new packaging is blue. 
love this baby so this next palette that i have is a bh cosmetics palette but basically if you're a beginner bh cosmetics is your girl so affordable i'm talking affordable like i'm talking cheap palettes this one is the second it's my ray ray palette which is beautiful I have some other BH Cosmetics palettes, but I actually think the two of those are discontinued. But I love BH Cosmetics. I go way, way back with them. That was one of the first brands that I started wearing, actually, when I started makeup. So yeah, definitely BH Cosmetics. I love her palette, how it has... It's kind of like color coded. So you have your greens and then it transitions all the way into this sort of like yellow. The shades are so buttery and blendable and they work like a dream. So she did a really good job with this palette and I think this palette right now on BH Cosmetics site is, her palette is, I don't see her palette. Wait a minute, hold on. This was like a newer BH palette. So, oh my gosh, do they not sell the It's My Ray Ray palette? Were they like a limited edition thing? So I guess not. So I guess they don't have the It's My Ray Ray palette anymore, but this wasn't that old. I guess it was limited edition, but if you're a beginner, just check out any of their other palettes. Oh my gosh, so these last palettes that I have, I'm just gonna say all of the Juvia's Place palettes. <laughs> so affordable like dirt cheap most of the times their palettes are on sale so you can always catch a sale with them like right now i think a lot of their palettes on the site are ten dollars so that is a steal if you don't have any of the juvia's place palettes you should definitely run right now get on the site in order they are so amazing and they're affordable i just feel like you just can't beat that this one I have right here is taking it back to the basics. Just you have your warm tones. This is the Warrior palette. You have your warm browns in here and you can do your just soft glam basic looks. And then you have these really pretty shimmer shades that are like butter. I swear they're amazing. And I've done a few videos with these. I've done a lot of videos with the Juvia's Place palettes, but love this one also the nubian 2 by juvia's place and this one is a little bit different this is a very unique palette to me as far as the layout and the color scheme of this i feel like this is a challenge for me whenever i open it because i'm like what shades am i gonna put together which i know i can put something together but i don't know it's a very unique palette I've used it a couple times oh this next one i love this one is the magic mini and I'm obsessed with this whole theme. Everything about this palette, the shimmers, this really pretty green shade. You have your warm shades in here, but you also have very different, very unique shades and pops and shimmers. A steel, a steel, Juvia's Place is where it's at. So this last one is Afrique and First of all, I didn't even touch on their packaging, but I love their packaging. I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. But this one is a freak, and I have used this one probably more than any of the others, especially this shimmer down here. Um, I actually have this one on my eyes right now. I love, love, love this one. This is my favorite one. I just, I guess because I love color so much and you have just these really bright colors that just scream out at you, <laughs> they just pop. And, but you also have these brown shades down at the bottom that you can work with. So I'm obsessed with color. So I think that's why I gravitate towards this palette so much. So yeah, those are all of the palettes that I really just recommend to anyone starting out with shadows and any of my beginners out there these are palettes that are really amazing and they're not gonna break the bank definitely hop on that but yeah that's it y'all so as always i really really hope y'all enjoyed this video i would love some love please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe 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 to my channel and i'll see y'all in my next video bye